What's up everybody, it's Mikey with PatBangers.com. Welcome to a new episode. Today I want to talk about Loop Cloud. It's the latest service from Loop Masters. You probably heard of Loop Masters. They're a huge player in the game when it comes to sound packs, presets, um, instrument patches and stuff like that. And with Loop Cloud, they bring all your samples to the cloud and make them accessible for you anywhere in the world where you have an internet connection. So you don't have to store all your files locally anymore. Um, and you just grab the sounds from the cloud that you actually need in that moment. To access the sounds in the cloud, you need the Loop Cloud application, which comes with some really cool features. And that's what I want to show you today. So this is the Loop Cloud application. Actually, let me minimize the browser here in the background so we don't get distracted. It looks like this. Uh, before we talk about all the features here, um, this app comes with a VST or AU plugin that you can load in your DAW. You just put it on any instrument track and it loads up and you see this little meter right here. And this plugin acts as a bridge between your DAW and the Loop Cloud application because now it is synced um, to your DAW. So if I change the tempo right here to let's say 95 BPM, as you can see, it grabbed the tempo from the session. And also if you browse your sounds and you play some loops, um, you can play it with the project in your DAW and they will play back in perfect timing and that makes finding the right sound or loop really, really easy. Actually, let's do this real quick. Let's load up some drums really quick. Uh, let's say this violin clip here. <laughs> So as you can see, it plays perfectly fine with the tempo of the song. And as you can see down here, you have some pretty cool options like play at double the tempo or play at a half current tempo. You can pitch the sounds up and down up to 12 semitones. This comes especially handy if you have some melody loops and you want to listen to them with the key of your project so you can pitch it up and down and you can directly listen how it sounds. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about the application here because this makes finding sounds actually a lot easier than going through all your sample packs and listen to a ton of sounds. Like here in the Ableton browser, in the Ableton Live 10 browser, you have these labels to store your sounds, but there's still no tagging for the sounds. So finding an actual mood of the sample or the, just the right sound is still, um, it still takes a lot of time. But with the Loot Cloud software, everything you got from Loop Masters is already tagged perfectly fine. So these are all my packs right here. Um, these are all the packs I own from Loop Masters and I can browse either the full packs or I can browse them via the instruments, genre, different labels, formats. So if I look, for example, for a silent patch, I can filter all my content just by clicking that tag. So I don't have any silent patches at the moment. But if I would have some in my library, I could browse them. I can also search for content types, one shots, loops, MIDI files, construction kits. And I can also search for key and BPM. And this is pretty nice. So let's say I want to find an old school hip hop beat. And I say I want the tempo to be between 75 and 95 BPM. And I want my format to be um, I want my content to be a loop and here we go and then I can also do a search for drums and here we are these are all drum loops from my libraries and as you can see it plays all files these are Rex files but there are also WAV files in here it plays back everything just fine 
now you say, yeah, that's a cool application, but I don't own much Loopmaster sounds. Well, um, this is just the beginning. In the future, and in the future, I mean with the next one or two updates, there will be a lot of cool new features available. And one will be that you can upload your own samples to the Loop Cloud and using the Loop Cloud application to tag your sounds and make them browsable just as easy as the Loop Masters packs. Of course, this will take some effort to do, but in the end, it will save you a lot of time. Uh, for all the machine guys, you already know the process. You import your sounds to machine, you tag them. Um, you know how good it is to find sounds just by tagging. And um, now with the Loop Cloud software, it's even better than the machine browser because you can preview it, you can uh, time stretch the sounds and, and listen if they would fit your project and your key and how it would sound like. So that's pretty, pretty dope. They also plan to bring like a credit based store so you can grab single sounds from any of the Loopmaster sound packs um, without buying the full package. So if you need a certain drum loop, you can browse for it in the Loop Cloud software. If you like it, you pay like one credit and you can buy single sounds pretty cheap off the pack without buying the full package. Of course, you can also filter by the labels down here in the browser view. So let's say we wanna go to down tempo and we get a list of all the down tempo files. And we can also add new labels to existing files. So when we go here, we click on the pencil tool and we, so you can edit the key, you can edit the BPM, you can see the current tags and down here in the tag manager, you can create new labels or adding existing labels and then assign them to the files you already have in your list. Of course, you can also mark files as favorites for later and they will appear up here in your favorites folder can see all your favorite files pretty simple and one more important feature here is the actual state um, that means if the file is in the cloud or on your hard disk because you can anytime go ahead and download the file to the background and now you see it's in the cloud and on your hard disk and the files appear in your downloads folder in the options you can assign every folder just the way you want it. You can put the library to an external hard disk. In my case, it's on my external drive, on the music, uh, sample packs, loop cloud, and then you find your files right there and you can use them in your DAW. So yeah, that's actually is This is Loop Cloud by Loop Masters, a pretty cool tool. Even if you don't own Loop Masters sounds, um, you still get the free sounds and the free samples per week. So that alone could um, attract your interest. But if you own Loopmaster Sounds, this makes browsing the packs and finding the right sound a lot easier. It's a great addition um, to the sample packs they have. And I'm really looking forward to the cloud option to upload my own sounds because on one side, there's actually no need to store these sounds on my hard disk and waste space there and on the other side browsing the sounds with the tagging in this loop cloud browser is actually super fast and with the time stretch and pitching function when it connects to your DAW it makes finding the right sound a lot easier so a uh, really cool concept here go check it out it's loopmasters.com um, the app is called loop cloud let me know what you guys think of it um, would you use this for your own sounds? Um, would you buy more Loopmaster sounds now when you see how easy it is to browse for the right sound? Is that an argument that makes you buy more sounds from them? Would you use the credit-based feature that allows you to grab single sounds of any pack and use them in your project? Uh, shoot me some comments, let me know what you think of it. I think it's a really nice tool. Um, yeah, that's it for this time. I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good one. Mike, patbangers.com. Peace out.